Did y'all hear that? That's Baby Shark. Baby Shark is playing. Like, welcome to parenthood. Gee, hold, hold please, why I collect Baby Shark. First things first, we're gonna start with some sunscreen because I'm over 30. But even if you're not, you should be wearing the sunscreen so that you don't look over 30. You feel? Let's get started. Like I said, I'm getting kind of a late start this morning using the Marshmallow Primer by NYX because I'm staying at home today and I'm gonna do a lot lighter makeup look today. I wanna look presentable, but I'm not, not trying to overdo it. I'm not trying to waste all the good makeup, you know? Hopefully nobody that I'm meeting with today hears that. You're not worth the good makeup. No, I'm just kidding, but you are on Zoom and therefore you can't really tell. So you get the $8 product, not the $80 product. Um, anyway, so my oldest is starting kindergarten this month. It's in the middle of the month and so we didn't wanna pay for the entire month of school care for her. Um, did y'all hear that? That's Baby Shark. Baby Shark is playing. Like, Welcome to parenthood. Gee, hold, hold please, why I collect baby shark from. Okay, baby shark, stop it. Oh my God. Baby, Jesus Christ, these. The damn light sensor on baby shark. There she goes again. I'm telling you, that it, it's, it, it's midnight and freaking baby shark is um, glitching in here. And baby, baby, that's what she does. She doesn't even sing the full song or else I'd probably enjoy it. Well, this is starting kindergarten this, the 15th time to tell this story. My oldest is starting kindergarten this month, and therefore we are not paying the full fees for the month because she would only be there, like we, it was, she was only gonna be there like six or seven days of the, of the month because of just like how the days fell and also they have like some teacher work days and stuff like that. And so she asked, actually, she came to us a couple weeks ago and was like, can I just have like a couple days or a couple weeks? Or she said, she was like, can I just have a little while off, you know, just to like do whatever I want. And basically she wanted to stay home and watch TV. And we were like, actually, yeah, you can because you're never going to get to for the rest of your life. So you know what, little five-year-old, you enjoy watching Sophia the First all day, stay in your pajamas for two weeks straight. I don't, like what a great life that sounds like. So yeah, you can do it. So we let her and I mean, and we can save a thousand dollars in the process. So Sounds good to me. Time to put makeup on and um, my NARS light reflecting foundation that I really, really like has busted and it spilled out all in my makeup drawer, but the top of it is like stuck there. So I don't know, I don't know if it came untwisted and like, I don't, I don't know, but now I can't get the top out. It's kind of wiggling, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fight with that. So I'm gonna put this on like the TikTokers do, like the Instagram influencers do drizzling it on my face, which I hate when they do that. This is not how you should be applying foundation, but I don't really have a choice because it's broken. So I kind of just guessed with how much to put on, but I really, really like this foundation, which is like a light everyday, everyday foundation. It covers like really, really well, but it does not feel heavy at all. I don't typically put foundation on my forehead because there's no breakouts up here and uh, generally like a light powder will kind of even out the tone for days like this where I'm a little sunburned and, and I just don't want it to crease in the forehead lines and that's where I mostly get lines. But speaking of that, I have a consult for Botox in two or three weeks. I've never done Botox before, but I, I mean, I feel like everybody's getting it and I'm over 30 now, so I think it's time for, to start just because I think that's the rule. I'm gonna go to the consult and see. I'm terrified. I don't know why, it, but I'm just, I don't know, I've never put anything in my face and so that kind of freaks me out. That's not cute. What was up there? Kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna go get a little small amount right here so that these forehead creases will go away. And maybe right here too. I know most people get it here in like crow's feet, but that's actually not the biggest concern of mine. Mine is up here in these, but I'm sure the doctor will look at me and be like, no girl, we're gonna need like, we're gonna need to call in reinforcements here. You need a couple of extra syringes that we weren't planning for today. One thing that I will say that I've noticed about this uh, NARS foundation though, is that like, I guess cause it's a, it, it's not a mattifying one. It kind of sits on you like, it does reflect that light pretty good though, right? It's a little tacky, almost like when you put sunscreen on. I did just put sunscreen on, but I've noticed that before with this too. And I don't love that because I feel like it kind of holds on to powders a lot more. So I kind of need to do like a lighter powder all over the face. I like how I'm like, I need to do a lighter powder and then I proceed to coat this on to try and cover these dark circles. 
because I didn't use any concealer. It doesn't feel heavy, but it kind of feels like a little tacky, almost like I said, when you put sunscreen on. I think I'm gonna do just kind of a natural uh, eye today, like no, probably no, no dimension or anything either. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna do a very simple, casual, like winged liner. Today is my short day at work. I've already been up doing a bunch of emails. Like I said, my youngest, she's off to kindergarten in a couple weeks, so she's home. So we had to kind of situate her today while getting the other one off to school. And then I had a couple of calls I had to do um, before 8 a.m. So I went ahead and did that stuff, answered some emails, all the above, and then decided to stream. But today's a light day. My girls go to dance on Mondays. It's, it's even enough. It's even enough for Zoom, you know? Let's stick with our NARS theme over here. Let's do the NARS blush. All right, I'm using the NYX contour palette. It's uh, not my fave contour palette, but I will use it every now and then. It's not bad, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't blend as well as the um, Kat Von D one, and it's obviously like, it's not like a clay powder. It kind of sits on your face more like a powder. That definitely has a sheen to it, that was unexpected. I'm like, I don't know that this is gonna look great today. I think it'll look good enough, but not great. All right, add a little bit of powder in. We're good. Quick highlighter and maybe define these cheekbones a smidge more. So I'm using a dual bronzer highlighter compact. Very subtle today. I'm not trying to like go crazy, you know. And go ahead and draw on some eyebrows and then mascara. I hear my daughter in the background. She just went off to make a fort in her room. I'm sure that's probably now all over our living room as well. But I'm trying to reset my expectations as to what my home will look like for the next two and a half weeks. Cause like on weekends, I'm pretty good about like, okay, kids are here. We will live in filth and destruction for Saturday and Sunday. We know this, but when they are both off to school, most of the day through Monday through Friday, I can like, in general, I'm kind of like, okay, I can, I can pick up a little bit each night when they get home. They have a limited two hour window to destroy things, which like, don't get it twisted. They are fully capable of doing that, but it is generally reasonably reasonable enough. Pick up in the evenings and have like, feel pretty decent about the state of my home to where it doesn't give me anxiety throughout the working day. Because if you've been here long enough, you know that I'm incredibly OCD like mess, like just destroys me. But that's not gonna fly. Wow, this little gremlin's home for two and a half weeks. So I'm just resetting my expect. I'm like, you know what, build a fort. Build a fort, build a fort because the walls of our home are not good enough. So just build a fort. I will be okay with that in our living room for two and a half weeks. In fact, it might be better because then I will know that all of the toys and stuff are just contained in the fort. Things I'm telling myself so that I don't have a panic attack. Finally went and got my primer out of my purse. Every girl will relate to this. I pulled my mascara out of my makeup and put it um, when I was running late. As you know, you always do your makeup in the car, not while you're driving. Put my mascara on in the car. But then what happens? It goes in your purse and it stays there for the next two and a half months because you intend to get it out and go back and watch past streams. Every morning I've been on here like, damn it, my mascara every morning. But I finally did it. Finally went and got it out of the car. I mean, the mascara helps so much with the wing. Like, even if it's a little crooked or overdrawn, just put some mascara over it, it blends it in. And then I'm gonna do, this is natural. This is the NYX natural. This is a really good dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Maybe a little less pink in it, but still pretty good. Yeah, very close to Pillow Talk. For literally a fraction of the price, it's like four bucks. And then this is 
Kim KW, nude today, and I'll toss on the Lip Maximizer um, by Dior. Kind of a uh, pretty much sheer, but technically has like a slight soft pink tone to it, but coming through pretty sheer, but good gloss, really like this one. Now we'll spray. Cool. All right, and this will be the look today. Um, I don't have to do anything to my hair because it's, uh, it's like immovable once I put it in this little bun thing. Um, I've kind of just like brushed over so it's not as bed heady, but I'm going to do a workout later and then I am going to wash my hair tonight. So I will, um, I'll do a full style of my hair in the morning, curl it and everything for the rest of the week. All right, this is it. Thanks so much for getting ready with me. If you enjoyed today, I am here every day of the week. If you want to come back tomorrow and get ready with me, that would be great. You uh, can meet me back here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. on Twitch. And if you want to see any of my past streams, you can check those out on YouTube at Makeup With Mish. And if you want to see how I style any of the looks with like the full fit, you can head on over to Instagram at Mish America. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow and subscribe so you can get notifications of when I go live or post um, videos on YouTube. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.